guys. It is 11.55. Me and Grandma are heading off to the post office. She is curious, as always. So I'm just popping on my New Balance. Ooh, I love these shoes. They are so comfortable. It is 12.56 right now, and I was looking at Grandma, and I noticed she was wearing a bigger jacket. And I was like, Grandma, that's my jacket. <laughs> No, Ron, you can't come. Nope, gotta get in the window now. But I was telling her I have no problem her wearing my jacket. It's just it looks tremendously big on her. <laughs> it's funny. But anywho, it is cold. It's, it's actually uh, 47 degrees right now. Holy crap. The actual real factor is probably colder than that, to be honest. Let me check right quick. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, it's 44 degrees. That's what it feels like. Oh, well. Uh. So right now, me and Grandma are heading off to the post office because she thought it was a good idea to go ahead and do that. So e either way, I mean, at the end of the day, I can't cash the check without Dad's signature as well because it's being written out to him, I think. Or, or is it? I don't think they're going based off the title, I don't think. But anyway, I'll just save it whenever Dad needs to go ahead and do all this. Well, you'll be sick about that. I'm not entirely sure about that. I know that the um, insurance check would because that's literally under Dad's and I's name. The title is under your Dad's and your name. No, no, but the insurance I'm alone on, though. The insurance itself, for me, is under my name. But the car is under me and dad's name. See, when I got hit, they were telling me that we would have to make out a check to the person that was driving the vehicle. Not for the people that were on the vehicle. So that means that I would be the only one getting a written out check in my name. They only base it off whoever was in the vehicle, not whoever owns that vehicle. Which, Dad clearly owns the vehicle, but I was the one in the vehicle at the time. I'm the only one insured on that vehicle. Dad's insured on a different vehicle. So, I don't know, that's what the guy told me from Travelers. But, for the most part, we're going over there and seeing if it's in the mailbox. Alright guys, we ended up making it over to the mailboxes and we are looking to see if it's here, which Grandma's going to be very disappointed to see that it's not in here. Hmm. All, Grandma, all we got was Grandma's insurance stuff. So, nothing. No well, other than your stuff, but... I don't know why they keep on sending you stuff. Jesus Christ, how many... I don't know. I think that's probably the important documents that I was talking about. They said they'd be, they would be sending a lot, so... Oh, well. Yeah, nothing in the mail today. Alright, that'd be the thumbnail. Hmm day it's a glorious day at the end of the day me and grandma made it back no luck besides information from her insurance at least which i'm having to think that it's going to deal with what that exclusion thing was which was a big mess but i don't know dad's gonna have to figure it out himself to figure out what i'm talking about because i tried to explain it last night when i woke up um, go use the restroom, then I told him about it, and he was still confused, so. When he gets up and everything, I think he's gonna actually figure out what's going on. And Dad's up already. Huh, what do you know? Since Dad's up and everything, I do, uh, I will help him a little bit, so I'll be back in a few. It is 12.26 p.m. right now, and Dad was kind of confused about the whole ordeal. I don't think he's going to mess with it today and tomorrow. They're not going to be open, so we're going to have to wait until Monday, and Dad's going to wake up extra early, go down to the nearest shelter insurance, which actually is in Alma, 
and he's going to take all the papers there, you know, take it to him and figure out what the big mess is, what the big fuss about everything is. Because basically, they ended up giving me the $400 check. And after all that, they ended up giving me papers that saying that I was excluded, which the guy told me not to do anything with the papers, but keep the check and everything would be fine. Because without those papers being signed and clarified by the people, uh, which would be my grandma and my dad, then that's all right. But I don't know. We're going to figure it out and see what we're about to find out. And it's just crazy right now because dad doesn't really want to deal with it. But I'm going to have to be on the family pack thing because <laughs> if you live under the same house with separate insurance, like different policies or something like that, it can be pretty daggum expensive, but I don't know. But anywho, I'm going to make some pizza, and that's what I'm doing, and I'm not even going to really worry about it, so. On sis, to go ahead and cut it. You're not supposed to cut it, Grandma. It already it has a lip already where you can pull up. See? Pull up. There you go. Go ahead and cook the pizza. In yeah, you're too slow. No, I'm not too slow. I'm just editing. Plus, the freaking light hasn't turned off, by the way. And you have to take it, but the freaking cardboard off. There you go. There you are. Did you even see what time it had to be put in there? Thirty minutes. <laughs> no. Twenty-five to twenty-nine minutes. Twenty-five. So basically, thirty minutes. You were right. Set a timer for 24 minutes, please. There we go. Jesus. Kept on asking me what it been. Are you happy, Grandma? Are you happy now? Are you? Are you happy? She's happy now. <laughs> I think she's happy now. I don't know. So, thanks for that interruption. Now I can go back to editing. All right, my watch was telling me my pizza was done, so it is done. So all I gotta do now is turn that off. Turn that off. I know it's old as crap, but it's so simple and well built. Wow! I think I, I cooked that a little too much. That was like the first time I went over. Jesus. Mm 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 mm. It's still edible. It's just kind of a little too brown. But the only way to find out if it's too good, like too bad, like too burnt, is to look under it, really. Bottom. It's actually just right. It's just the top, it seems like it gets burnt too easy, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. But that's what happens if you don't let it preheat. Grandma, over here, didn't want to preheat. She wanted it jumped in. She wanted it in the freaking oven. She wanted it cooking and everything. She wanted that crap done. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's still edible. Uh, it's still going to taste as good as it is. It's just going to be a little crunchy on the cheese, I guess. But, oh well, I'm not too fussed about it. Pizza is pizza, and it's still a good pizza. So... Seems like it's just gonna be a short day today. It's 4.04 p.m. right now. I mean, it's just, there's nothing. There's nothing. I just can't go anywhere. Don't got a vehicle. There's nothing else to do. But, I mean, Grandma didn't want to make any dinner today, so she decided to make leftover soup, which there's nothing wrong with that. Soup's better the second day as well. And we're just like, what do you got for me? Huh? What do you got? I don't even know what you're after. I guess it's the water. Maybe, maybe it's the oh, water you're looking for. I was going to say that. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and sit down and eat. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Hmm. Freedom! Freedom! Oh, someone died? No. I guess they almost hung that black man. He had the marks around his neck. And uh, he told him to go on to that, wherever he was headed for. And he, he had some money and uh, 
it was he would send his wife and baby. Ah. Fair enough. So it's about a black person escaping. Well, isn't that a cheerful Thanksgiving way to start out your freaking Thanksgiving? Um, but anywho, guys, uh, I think I am going to end it on that note. <laughs> it is 5.02 p.m. right now, and there's nothing else to do. We just went to the post office. That's it. <laughs> that is it. So, that pretty much covers my day. <laughs> But anywho guys, like, subscribe, comment, share it, live it, love it, go to the bathroom with it, whatever it may be. So God help me. God is good all the time, all the time, God is good. You know how I am. Stay tuned in for more glorious videos. Until next time, stay awesome, bros. Good